Hello everyone, uh, this is Mohammad Akhtar here from Real Time Signals Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about uh, an hydropoly paper uh, with the title called Fire and Smoke Detection Without Sensors. Okay, the main application of this paper is we are going to detect fire uh, through images. We are going to replace all analog sensors by uh, a beautiful uh, software called uh, MATLAB and with the help of this we are going to detect fire in uh, given images. So here you can see that there is a complete description about the project where uh, fuzzy logic is the main tool used to detect whether the corresponding pixels of an image is a fire or not. Here you can see that he has taken an image and he has taken three channels of it Y, C, B and C, R and when you apply this algorithm and this, these are the uh, relevant uh, uh, fire pixels. Here you can see that these fire pixels are denoted as one, and wherever there is a fire, you will find the corresponding pixels as one in your output image. Okay, so let's uh, let's see similarly smoke as well. If you want to detect smokes in this, they have given different sets of equations. With the help of that, you can detect. Uh, smokes in, in images and uh, I know uh, so you can determine uh, you can uh, you will be alerted if you have anything if you find if the system is going to find images fire in the images okay now let's jump to the MATLAB where uh, we have an script for this okay so this is a script which I have written for fire detection in MATLAB and so here is a set of here is a set of images which I am making use of this database with the help of these images I am going to find out the uh, fire in the given images. Let's let's pass an image uh, and see the output. So I am going to pass an image called uh, with the name called fir4 and let's execute this. So as I told you I am going to take input image and I'm going to convert it into three different channels YCVCR and here you can see that this is my input image I'm going to detect only the fire pixels in the given image so yeah it's still evaluating and once it's done it'll display only the pixels with the value one where the fire pixels are presented okay and yeah so this is the second figure so here is a set of variables what i'm going to have cb channel cr and cr minus cb and this is my fuzzy logic with the help of fuzzy logic my program is going to decide whether the corresponding pixel is a fire pixel or not okay and similarly i i normalize many pixel values and I, I normalize the pixel value in the range of minus 1 to 1 and I, I got the results as and then I pass the input okay here is the here is the output if you just compare your input image with your output image you can see that I am successfully able to detect the fire pixels so irrespective of any is eliminating all other information he is just giving me information about the fire pixels from this information I can I can give an alarm or I can set an alarm so that if I have any pixels like if I have any pixels in the output image which corresponds to the fire pixel so it will you know on it will turn on the alarm and the advantage of this uh, particular application is that you can you can fix a camera in your field and it can cover long areas compared to your analog sensors okay Thank you guys, thank you, thank you for watching.